Hold on, we're going after him. Well, we've made it to the end of this particular head of the wadi. You can see that it's coming to a head plateau area there. Sheer cliff face all the way up. Uh, we're a little bit out of breath because we, for instance, this one here, there's these funnels all the way along here, which uh, we've been following because some of them within the runoffs have had pieces of pottery. So uh, we followed the pottery trail to the funnels, but of course there's, there's nothing in there, they're, they're empty. Um, the tracks here haven't been trodden in many, many years, many years. Uh, there's no fresh footprints, there's, there's no cigarette butts, there's no rubbish of modern interference of any kind. Uh, plus there's, there's no inscriptions, which is uh, hard to believe, really is hard to believe. But uh, we will continue. What we're going to do, we're going to go up here now, carry on along, see where that pointy bit's coming out just over there. And then we're going to come down there into the wadi and then head back to the horses and have a spot lunch and then come back. Oh, look at that natural window formation there. Nice. Anyway, there you go, I'll give you a pan shot of where we are. So desolate and so quiet out here, it really is. It's beautiful. Right. Speak to you later, guys. Take care. Well, I managed to make it round. There's the ridge that I pointed to before. And we're coming along here, up in the alcove here. And now we're going to walk down there, down to the horses. That's the ridge that we've just walked around and explored. You can see the defined pathway along the edge. That's the one that we followed all the way around. So now we're going to go down here into the runoff and get back. Okay, Maria's around here somewhere. She's still ferreting Oops. up in the uh, funnel. She's up in there. A moment, so uh, I'll catch back with you afterwards. Hi guys, well, climbed down from the top, coming down this runoff now. Uh, it's quite beautiful. I mean, look at this. I've got my own little private mini canyon I'm climbing down. Let's just have a look around as we, as we go, looking for any telltale signs. I haven't seen any as yet. I haven't seen any inscriptions either. I'll keep my eye out there. There's no pottery either. So, uh, but uh, I did take some pictures earlier. Uh, there was a nice little house shelter that was uh, further on up. That was really nice. So, uh, it's up here. You see, we see where it's been dug away, where the, uh, the tomb robbers have presumed there to be some kind of tomb, and they've come here and they've cut away. And all it is is the runoff, really. That's all it is. I mean, there's no barrier here, as such as, as Howard said. You know, there's plenty of evidence here to suggest that the the tomb robbers have been busy, but uh, there's no evidence to suggest any tombs, not in this specific area, anyway. Uh, I think we're coming close to that point where I was looking from above and seeing the, uh, the debris trails so uh, I'm going to keep my eye out for that now and I'll catch up with you later. Uh, I've washed my footing a little bit here so uh, I'll speak to you on. Okay. Uh, hi guys again. Um, unfortunately this is all it was. I, I just followed my way in and climbed in. You can see this is where I came in. I just uh, Walk carefully back, try not to raise too much dust. You can see, this is what I was presented with when I came in. It was just wonderful. Something like straight out of an Indiana Jones film. But uh, this is how I climbed in. You see all the, it's all collapsed here. But uh, from inside, oops. Usual telltale signs of tomb robbers, by the way, the uh, the water bottle. But uh, I came in from here, so uh, right, I'll leave by here as well, I think. I'll right, catch up with you when I get back outside. Oh, I made it out. 
Whew. It's getting hot now. So uh, I'm continue down. Uh, this is more of these shaft pit shafts or small excavations in hope of finding something. There's one here. I'm going to try and climb up here. Oh, oh that's a deep one. There's one there. And then there's another one here. There's one, two, three, plus the one that we're in there. I can see. Oh, totally shielded from sight, that one. This is, as I walk along, we've got some uh, man made walling going on here, as you can see. And then another one here. So that's, what was that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight so far. Another stacked stone array over there. Let's see if we can uh, see anything on the walls over here. I'll catch back with you in a minute. Okay, so, no, there was nothing over there. I just checked the, the walling. So you've got another stacked stone affair going on here. Someone's... Little hidey ho for sleeping in. Protect them from the midday sun, probably. Another pit in there. Just climb up. Yep. Oh. There's a small collection of uh, pottery shards just here, and the marker stone being placed. But you can see the extent of that stone walling, dry stone walling there. Another pit hole there. There's another one going on just here by the looks of things. That's been filled in, and one, two next to it. And then if I just climb up here, oh, we've got, uh, wow, we have another one here. We've got another one going on there. And let's just walk along here. We've got more going on here. You can see where it's cl the clean sides. You see where they've cut in. So you can tell that they, someone's been very busy here. Another one in here. There. You see the stacked stone there to stop the debris from coming back into them. So uh, I'll just climb down there and then I'll catch back with you. So walk down here now past all those pit tombs, and I've made photographs as well which I'll post. But see the way the stone's been stacked here. There's another shaft just there as well. And there's another one over here. So they've been very busy here trying to locate tombs or antiquity of some nature. So there's one, another two. So that's three in the same vicinity there. But, uh, you know, my guess is there, there actually isn't anything here. Uh, not in this particular body anyway. Um, there's just no, just, there's no pottery, there's no human interference at all. Only, only what the tomb robbers have done, actually. Uh, they're the only human interference going on here, not nobody else. Um, so, anyway, I'm going to head back and have a cup of coffee. Yeah, parched. So, I'll speak to you later.